All right, so we got the workpiece cleaned up just about as good as uh, necessary for right now. And it is uh, in the vise and ready to go. So I got my spindle speed just about where I want it. Um, let me grab a, a usual tape measure here. So I have my zero dialed in for the uh, uh, X and Y plane on the DRO and so we're uh, We're just gonna shoot for ballpark here. So this is you know, it's supposed to be roughly two inches, but we're like one in 15 16 so I'm gonna center uh, Let's see Let's go So right now I'm adjusting my y-axis. We're gonna go six eight seven five if we can uh, lock that axis down Okay, so it it moved uh, about a thousandths, but that's really not a big deal, folks. So we're gonna come in. Hopefully I'm getting this all properly down on the camera. Let's come in with our X just a little bit. We're gonna get down to where I just kissed the top of the steel. Start making some chips. And we're gonna lock that Z axis down. So I'm only gonna be removing a half of an inch here. Uh, put some rapid tap down, protect the tool. Uh, I'm gonna see what it looks like just removing a half inch. I may end up having to take more off of it than that in order to give myself a good clean bed, good clean surface to weld that other piece on. Okay guys, so we got the part uh, chucked up here, or, or clamped into place, and uh, we're ready to go. So I won't be uh, taking any close-ups uh, as far as video goes on this, because I've already kind of damaged my uh, my lens on my GoPro from, <laughs> from video, <laughs> videoing up close on welding. Okay guys, so what I've done here, I did my, my first pass, and I ended up actually not switching out to O30. I kept the O35 in there after some thought. And so what, what we have is our root pass. I did uh, with the workpiece clamped in, I gave a, a good heavy bead on the front and on the back. And that will pretty well keep a, a, a nice thick piece like this in place as long as you keep it clamped. So I gave it a good root pass. We're gonna let this weld cool and then we'll go and do the other side. Okay, so now that the weld has cooled off, we are going to work on the next pass here.
All right, so we are now going to start stacking welds, folks. So, the way that it's looking right now, I think that we're just gonna do a fourth and final pass. We're just gonna fill in this gap. I don't see the point in going up any higher. So, uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay guys, so we had a bit of a camera mishap. I'm not totally sure what happened, but uh, we did get both of these uh, work pieces done. Uh, it, it was four passes on either uh, on both sides, and I did uh, two passes on front and back. It turned out real nice. Uh, everything is nice and uh, parallel. I double checked. Uh, everything's nice and clean, so that should hold. If that ever breaks, I told the guy, I guarantee you my welds for life, so. Um, what we're gonna do next is weld this, uh, this the shaft collar on, and so uh, here's what I have. This is jigged up. I, I drilled and tapped my quarter twenty eight threads in here for a grease zerk, and uh, to try and keep this video short, what you're looking at right here is a little bit of a redneck situation, but it's going to work and it's going to work well. So in order to uh, weld this uh, two inch outer diameter shaft collar onto a one inch piece of flat bar. What I did was I took two pieces of half inch flat stock 
and I clamped it, I clamped those two together to the outside of this. And uh, I grabbed two smaller pieces of flat stock uh, as outer edges as a guide. So that's pretty uh, self-explanatory there. Uh, done it before many, many times. It works real well. So this is going to be perfectly centered, uh, you know, within a few thousandths. Um, the, the tolerance on this, uh, <laughs> on this assembly really isn't that critical where, uh, you know, let's say even five, 10, 15 thousandths off would, would even be any sort of a problem. So, uh, this is going to be just fine. So I'm going to come through and, uh, much like this setup, I'm going to buzz it up in the front, buzz it up in the back, come back through, do a root pass. I'll probably end up doing three passes on either side and, uh, maybe I'll get some video of that too. Uh, I, I will get some video of tapping the quarter 28 threads into this guy because I know that there are some people that have never tapped threads that watch my videos and uh, it would just be kind of an interesting thing to do. So I, I did the drilling and the chamfering in the mill and then I tapped it by hand with a drill. So um, that being said, this is going to conclude the video. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, I know it was kind of a long video but that's just kind of how I do things. So <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for watching. Y'all take care. We'll catch you on the next one.